travel expenses for Computex 2018, paid for in part by Fractal Design. Yeah, if you haven't seen our coverage of the Fractal Define R6, you should gotta check out our videos on the Define R6. We've done a Threadripper build, we've done an i9 build. It's cool, it's quiet, it's competent, it's a really awesome case, and you should check out our videos on that. Travel expenses for Computex also paid in part by ASRock. Yes. ASRock, with the many PCs and graphics cards, and ASRock's just building everything these days. Whether you swing Team Red or Team Blue, ASRock has got something for you, I think. So be sure to check out our coverage of all of their motherboards, everything from IOMMU groups to full UEFI tours, which I know only the people that are basically getting ready to pull the trigger look at those UEFIs. Everybody else doesn't care. So big thanks to ASRock for sponsoring us and you really should check out our other coverage of, of ASRock products and our coverage from Computex 2018. First stop at ASRock and they're getting into mining. Well, it makes sense because graphics cards and motherboards, right? Custom solutions for eight graphics cards in a chassis and also pre-made mining boxes. So this has eight GPUs. It's hooked up with, you know, ETH OS. And yeah, it's a complete package deal from ASRock, basically ready to set up and mine. So it makes sense, they're doing custom graphics cards. Let's go take a look at the graphics cards. <laughs> I wish I had enough graphics cards to just screw them into a wall. Everything from Vega, RX 570 and 580 that we've seen before, all the way down to the RX 564 gig and an RX 552 gig, which would be good for you know a home theater machine or something like that. All of these machines are set up. There's, we've got Ryzen systems, we've got Intel systems, Intel systems with Optane, both the, you know, the small M.2 Optane accelerators as well as the, the monster PCI Express NVMe add-in card. So for now, it's the blower stall cooler, but we do have the custom coolers on the uh, RX 580s, which you know, are pretty popular among gamers. And they've got all their machines set up here with different games and what the benchmark results are and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of exciting. And you know, things are looking pretty good. Um, they're pretty tight-lipped about a custom cooler on the uh, RX. But I'd say that's coming. Wink, wink. Say no more, know what I mean, know what I mean. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I didn't say that. I'm just kidding, that's not a real thing. Now, after I made my way all over the show floor to take a look at really everything that's here, I mean, the only real new chipset is B450. And, uh, you know, technically AMD hasn't really officially announced B450 yet. And most other vendors at the show were only showing off one or two B450 motherboards. Well, ASRock had a plurality. They had full-size ATX, micro ATX, and mini ITX in several different flavors. It seemed like they had a low-cost ITX option and a high-performance ITX option and a low-cost micro ATX option and a high-performance ITX option. The most impressive one, I think, was the B450 Gaming ITX AC. So we've got full PCI Express 3.0 M.2, the full PCI Express by 16 slot, two DDR slots, a pretty beefy looking power delivery system, onboard wireless AC and 802.11 uh, AC and Bluetooth 4.2, uh, four SATA ports. So I think this thing is, is pretty kitted out for an ITX board. Now, of course, they also had the, the Pro 4 and they also had the Gaming K4 with a different combination of features, but again, based around that B450 chipset. Now, the B450 chipset itself, there's not really a lot new from AMD, but what we are seeing is board partners like ASRock incorporating lessons learned from their first gen boards into the second gen boards. So these boards will have no trouble driving even an overclocked 2700X from the looks of it. I really can't wait to put one of these boards through their paces. Another thing I was also on the lookout for was updated Threadripper boards. Now, ASRock was not showing off anything like that, but you know, the ASRock X399 Tai Chi and the other X399 boards that ASRock have, those were all there and on display. And it, it looked like maybe they had made some minor revisions, you know, here and there, but I really didn't see anything earth shattering or groundbreaking. No, you know, no, no new power delivery system or, or anything like that. And I asked them about, well, it's like, you know, the Threadripper 2, 32 cores, but they didn't seem too worried about that. So I can't wait to test the 32 core Threadripper, especially on the, the uh, older uh, Tai Chi. Speaking of the Tai Chi, have you seen the X470 Tai Chi Ultimate? That one's got a 10 gigabit Aquantia Ethernet card built in. Nice work, ASRock. Good job.
Well, that's about it for the AMD side of things at the show. I mean, remember the press event? AMD really sort of stole the show with their press event and a 32 core actual real product Red Ripper as opposed to the 28 core demo that Intel did. So, I, you know, it remains to be seen what, uh, you know, how the 32 core chips are going to perform on these boards, but I will absolutely put it to the paces. I can't wait. I'm Wendell. I'm signing it, and I'll see you later.